Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good day today. It is early this morning and it's already hot outside. Um, so I hope you're staying cool and, and um, maybe playing in your pools or running through the sprinklers, which is what I did when I was little. I loved running through the sprinklers. So um, stay cool. Miss Jessica is going to talk a little bit about um, a project that we're doing this week all about our dads or that special dad in your family that you are going to celebrate on Father's Day. Now, Father's Day is not for two more weeks, but we're doing it early because next week we are going to be doing graduation week, and we are going to be talking all about you. And so this week we're going to be talking about that special father in your life that you will be celebrating two weeks from now on Father's Day. So you're going to have plenty of time to do all of your projects for that father in your life. And so we're going to get started and I'm going to show you again some of the things that Miss Bree showed you. And then I'm going to show you a couple of very fun projects that we're going to do that I'm going to show you that you haven't seen yet. But before we begin, Miss Jessica is going to read a quick story about families and dads. Um, so I'm going to grab my story and I'm going to read you this story first. So I'm going to have two stories. Um, and this one is called My Two Dads. All right, let's get started. Okay. So, I'm going to fix this so that you can see the pages and not me. All right. Hello, everyone. I am Jacob. I'm here to tell you about Papo and Papa. They mean the world to me. Wee! Again, again! My dads are always telling me that they love me so much. Our family likes to do things together, such as going out to eat pizza at my favorite restaurant. Mmm, I love pizza. Miss Jessica loves pizza too. Then, or cooking dinner. Mmm, that looks good. It looks like they're making some kind of biscuits. There are times when it is just Papo and me. I'm gonna get that ball. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Other times, I read to Papa. Shh, shh, shh. Guys, where do you think they're at that everybody's shushing them? <gasps> the library. You're right. I need spe I feel special when Papo and Papa spend time with me. Wow, cool. Did you see that? I love movie night. I bet you guys have all had a lot of movie nights lately. I like showing my daddies my classroom where they get to meet my friends. I like ice cream. Are you Jacob's dad? My friend Latrice has a mom only, and my friend Michael has an uncle who is his dad. And Xander has a mom and a stepdad, as well as a stepmom and dad. We all look different from the outside, but the love we have for our families is the same. I have two dads who each love each other. And most of all, I love my papa and my papa. And my family loves me. So, that is talking about a lot of different families and how families look. So, sometimes... They, um, diff, uh, everybody has a different looking family. Miss Jessica has a different looking family. Um, I have, um, four grandchildren with my daughter and with my son Billy. 
Um, I have two grandsons who are adopted, and they have two dads, uh, Billy and Mike. And so my grandsons have a lot of work to do because they have to make two special gifts for their uh, dads. And so if you have two dads, you'll make two gifts. Um, so I'm going to talk about what Ms. Bree talked about yesterday, and that is our packet that we have for you to come pick up. In the packet, Ms. Bree showed you yesterday, we have a lot of papers. One of them is the drawing a Daddy and Me or Daddies and Me. Um, or grandpas and me or uncles and me, you can put whatever you want on this paper and talk about that special person that you will be celebrating on Father's Day. Also, we have instead of the um, instead of the bonnet like the mummies had, Dad is going to have a baseball cap. And so you can decorate this baseball cap any way you like. You can put their special team on it. You can just draw pictures on it. There is a headband for it to go staple or, or tape it um, after you cut it out for your dads to wear on Father's Day. And also, there is that questionnaire that is the uh, that is about the special dad in your life, and you get to write down, uh, answer all the questions on the questionnaire, and whoever's going to help you do this will help you write it down. So don't worry, you don't have to spell the words, but someone will help you do this questionnaire and fill it out for your uh, special dad. Then we also have. A tie. Now, even if your daddy does go to work, but he doesn't have to wear a tie, it's okay because I think most dads have to wear a tie at least one time in their life. My husband, Bill, he usually doesn't wear a tie. He works where he wears blue jeans and shirts, but a lot of daddies wear suits with ties. So Bill would not usually wear a tie, but I will say special occasions. There are special occasions that Bill will put on a tie. Does he like to wear the tie? No, he doesn't like to wear a tie, but sometimes it's just the thing to do. You wear the tie. So he will wear a tie if I ask him to. So that is what Miss Bree talked about yesterday. Today, Ms. Jessica has another part of the Father's Day packet, and that is a gift for your dads. And this, I'm going to take there, it's in this bag. And in this bag is a gift. I have to rip it because it barely fits in this bag, but I'll get another bag to put it in. In this bag, it looks like this. It is a cup with paint. And when you paint the cup with paint for your special dad, you will paint it the way you want it. And then it goes in the oven. And so anybody helping you with this project will put it in the oven and it will bake for a little bit so that the paint stays on. So when you wash it, the paint won't come off. So I'll show you the cup without it being in the box. And it looks like this. So in the box, there's a cup. It has nothing on it. So you can paint your cup with these paints that are in the box and this brush. Now, remember, just like being an artist that we do in class, when you change colors, you're going to wipe it off a little bit or you're going to wash it off and then go to the next color because that's what artists do. You might want a different color, so you might mix some colors and then clean it off. Or if you're um, the person that is helping you do this project is um, 
uh, has other paintbrushes, then you can borrow more paintbrushes and you don't have to clean the one paintbrush off. But if you only have the one paintbrush, it is okay because you can just rinse it off and make another color. There's plenty of paint in here to cover the um, cup any way you want to. You might make it simple and put one thing on it, or you might fill the whole cup up with color. It is up to you because you're going to think of the person that you're making this cup for, and you're going to say, oh, they are going to like this, and you're going to paint your cup for them. So everybody's going to have one of these in their cups. Unless you have two dads, then we'll send you two. We already have figured out who needs two and who only needs one. Okay, so that is the next project. It is, or that is the project after you get done of all the other stuff. That is our cup project that you are going to wrap up and give to that special dad in your life. Then, the second part of it is kind of crazy. It is a game that Miss Jessica has played with dads for over 20 years. Over 20 years. And it is a fun game. Um, it is a messy game, which is even more fun than anything else. It's messy and it's something that dad might go, what does she want me to do? And you're going to say, come on, Dad, just come play with me. It will be fun. And that is called the Pudding Worm Survivor Game. Now, it's a little crazy because at the beginning of the school year, you guys got to play a game, the Rough Dogs, um, of uh, finding the worm in the mud when you were pretending to be chickens. And the way you did it is... There was a big puddle of brown, ooey gooey stuff on the table. And inside, Miss Jessica said, You cannot use your hands because do chickens have hands? Nope, they don't have hands. You're right. So you had to put your hands behind your back and you had to look at this brown, ooey gooey stuff on the table. And you're thinking, What does she want me to do? And I said, inside the brown gooey stuff is a gummy worm. And that gummy worm tastes so good. But because you're a chicken, you can't use your fingers to get that gummy worm out. How do you think you're going to get it? You all looked at that brown ooey gooey stuff and they thought, hmm. Well, I said, you are chickens. And your mouth is your beak. So you are going to peck that, peck that brown ooey gooey stuff until you find a worm. And then you can chew it up and swallow it. Well, we decided that dads, it would be fun for dads to play the game. And on the game of Survivor on the TV, they do the same thing. They have to eat kind of weird stuff on that game and it is called the survivor game. And so instead of giving them icky stuff that they give on the survivor game, I gave them pudding and gummy worms. That's what you guys got to eat as chickens too. And so I am put in the package or Miss Bree and Jessica and Charlie put in the package two cups of chocolate pudding. Yum, this is chocolate pudding. Let's see, it goes this way. Snack packs. And so the person that is helping you do the survivor game, because you're going to need another person there, is going to put down three gummy worms on a table. And they are going to put the chocolate pudding over the gummy worms, mix it all in really good. And in two spots, the person that's helping you is going to say, okay, you have three worms and dad, grandpa, uncle, special friend has three worms. And when I say, on your mark, get set, 
go. You have to dig into that pudding with your beak, not with your hands. Find those worms, chew them up, swallow them. And when you have eaten the three worms, you stick out your tongue ah, and you say, I'm done. And you've won the game. So you can play this with your dad. Um, I am going to miss watching all the dads do this because every year I take pictures of the dads down there digging through the pudding, trying to find their worms and beat the next dad next to them. But this year, it's going to be you and your special dad next to you. So, everything's in the package, ready to go. It's going to be the cup. A cup and two packs of pudding and three gummy worms. Now I'm going to trust that dad's going to be a good sport and he's going to play this game with you. I'm kind of pressuring your dads to do this project. Um, it is fun. I know daddies sometimes have beards and it gets a little gooey, but you know what? We wash it off because do we get messy at kid time? <gasps> We do every single day. And this is just one of those messy projects that is fun to do. Later on in this video, you're going to see Mr. Charlie and Mr. Josh play the game. Because I want your special dads, whoever you're celebrating, to watch Mr. Josh and Mr. Charlie play the game. So they kind of get what I'm talking about. So, that is your packet for this week. What Miss Brett, Miss Bree told you yesterday in the video, and what Miss Jessica is showing you today, the cup and the gummy worm survivor game. All of that is in your packet. So, um, ask your parents to come and pick up a package that has all of this stuff in it for you to get ready for Father's Day. And um, they are inside, so you're going to have to ring the doorbell and ask for your Father's Day packet. Your name is on it, and everybody has one. So, Miss Jessica is going to finish off this video with another story, um, and then I am going to film Mr. Charlie and Mr. Josh doing the gummy worm survivor game. So it should be fun and we'll add it to the end of this video. So let me grab one more story. This one is called, oh, we got a glare here today, guys. It's glaring off the pages. Llama Llama, Grandma, and Grandpa. Because you know, Grandpa is a dad. It's just that Grandpa is not your dad, but it could be your mommy or your daddy's dad that is the Grandpa. So, And we celebrate Grandpa's on Father's Day, too. All right, so here we go. Llama Llama, big, big day. It's a first, a special stay. Pack up clothes and PJs tight. Llama's going overnight. What do you think she, he's going overnight at? Let's see. Who will take good care of Llama? Llama, Llama's grandma and grandpa. Bag and fuzzy in the car. Buckle up. The drive seems far. Hugs and kisses. Big hellos. Mama loves you. Off she goes. A glass of milk, a yummy snack. Now it's time to go unpack. Mama's pictures in a frame. Different, also just the same. So this is Llama's mom. And it's a younger picture when the mommy lived with her mom and dad, who is now his gram and grandpa. Take out socks and pants and book. Put the jammies on the hook. Feeling strange away from mama. Oh no, where is Fuzzy's 
Llama. Llama dear, are you okay? Llama doesn't want to say. Grandma says, let's go outside. Climb on up, pretend to ride. Tractors, gardens, grass to mow. Llama's having fun, but oh, Fuzzy is still left at home. Maybe Fuzzy feels alone. Grandpa's workshop, lots to do. Wooden hammers, nails, and glue. Llama makes a little chair. It's for Fuzzy, who's not here. Time for dinner, help get ready. Carry dishes, hold them steady. Grandma's house has different food. Something squishy, something stewed. Llama tries it and it's good. Would you like more? Llama would. Dinner's over, time for bed. Llama wants to wait instead. Grandpa says, let's see the stars. Nighttime shows us where they are. Take a bath, then comb and brush. Settle in for stories, hush. Finish books and get a kiss. Llama dear, now what is this? <gasps> Look at his face. He looks sad. Llama's lips begin to quiver. Llama starts to shake and shiver. Llama needs his fuzzy near, but fuzzy llama isn't here. Wait a minute, stay right here. Grandpa leaves, then reappears. When Grandpa was a little boy, he also had a special toy. Big or little, young or old, a llama needs someone to hold. A grandma kiss, a grandpa hug, feeling cozy, settle snug. Llama Llama's not alone. This is home. Away from home. So, I'll bet you some of you have stayed overnight at your grandma or grandpa's house. And are you so lucky to have a grandma and grandpa? Not everybody does. I had two grandmas and grandpas when I was little, and I used to spend lots of nights there. I felt safe and cozy, and I know they would always take care of me just like my mom and dad did. Um, I also have my grandkids that come over and spend the night. They have a special room. They call it the green room. Um, and so they know that when they come over to my house, they run to their room, which they call the green room, and they know to throw everything in the green room. They have their own bed. They have their own stuff in there. And even though I have four grandchildren, they all share that one green room. So they'll always remember that Mia, which is what they call me, and their Papa, which is what they call their Grandpa, um, always will take really good care of them, just like their mom and dad. So it is nice to celebrate Grandpa's during Father's Day, too. So now I am going to do the calendar really quick because I'm going to close this video out so that I can go find Mr. Charlie and Mr. Josh and have them play their survivor game. I can't wait till you watch them play their survivor game. It should be fun. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to finish off the calendar here, which is right behind Miss Jessica. All right. So we still are in the month of May. M-A-Y. We're still in the month of May. But at the end of this week, 
We will not be in May anymore. Believe it or not, boys and girls, it is going to turn into June on Monday. And so this is the last week that we'll be doing the month of May. All right. And so yesterday, Miss Bree did the calendar and it was Tuesday. But today is Wednesday. So we're going to count all the numbers and see what number Miss Jessica is going to put in here for Wednesday. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm going to stop here. What two numbers make fourteen? A one and a four. And the one comes first, then the four. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Yes, twenty-seven. And the 27, what two numbers make 27? A two and a seven. That's right, and the two comes first. 27. So today is Wednesday, May 27, 2020. 2020. And so at the end of this week, or actually on Sunday, is the last day of May. And so when we make another video on Monday, it won't be May anymore. It will be June. It is hard to believe we're almost into summer. Because right now, even as hot as it is, it is not summertime yet. It is still spring. So the season hasn't changed and it doesn't change till June 21st. So I'm hoping that it gets a little cooler, which it's supposed to. Believe it or not, they say it's supposed to rain this weekend. How can it rain when it's 100 degrees outside today? And then they say on Saturday it's supposed to rain again. This is California weather. It is crazy. So, that is our calendar. Um, I will sing one quick song, and I'm trying to think of one I haven't sang lately, and I think it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to Thursday, Friday, go to school. Saturday, Sunday, we stay home. Monday, back to school we go. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to see each other where we get to go back to school. We've had a lot of stay-home days, but we have visited just like this. So I imagine you in my imagination all the time. I can see your faces, and when I'm talking to the um, screen right now, because I'm using my computer, I am thinking of you, and I can see your faces. So that is why I feel comfortable talking on the computer, because I see your faces. I'm missing those faces, but I see them in my imagination. You're right. Okay, so the last thing we'll do, since Ms. Bree finished it, is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Let me grab... the Wednesday out of here, oh, or the Thursday, sorry. Okay, so Miss Bree had that yesterday was Monday, but actually yesterday for us, today is Tuesday. Today is, when, or to, um, yesterday is, <laughs> was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. I'm mixed up, guys. And tomorrow is Thursday. So, yesterday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday, and tomorrow, when you wake up in the morning, it'll be 
Thursday. All right, boys and girls. And the weather? There is no wind. There is no rainbows. All there is outside today is sun. And the sun is very hot. So I want you to think about staying hydrated. You guys know what that means. You drink lots and lots of water. And you go outside and you run through the sprinklers or you stay inside with the nice cool air and read some books. Um, or you run around really fast and come back in and do an art project. Um, but I just want you to stay cool. Cool and hydrated. Miss Jessica's missing you. I will talk to you soon again about graduation week. Um, and I sent out an email. We're going to do a graduation party. We're just not going to do it in person. We are going to do a Zoom graduation party. And we will talk about that on Monday. All right, guys. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Hi, Rough Dogs. And hopefully your dads are watching this video with you. Mr. Josh and Mr. Charlie are going to teach you how to do the survivor game. The survivor game that you're going to play with your children for Father's Day is um, Worms and Mud. So Mr. Charlie and Mr. Josh have worms that are in mud. And they are going to not use their hands because that would not be easy. They are just going to use their mouths. And Miss Jessica didn't think about having her mask on. So, anyway, so they are going to use their mouths and they are going to eat all the worms. The first one to stick out their tongue and show us that he has swallowed all of his worms is the winner. So, are you ready?